Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we have kind of a cool little ration here. We've got a, a Type 13 Chinese ration, uh, menu number one. Uh, this was generously sent to us uh, by ForeignMRE.com. They've helped us out a little bit in the past. Uh, Art and Nina are great people. If you haven't uh, checked out their website, if you haven't, uh, you know, subscribed to the YouTube channel or whatever by now, what are you waiting for? Come on! They're real cool. They, uh, like I said, they've they've helped us out in the past here a little bit. And uh, Art got a hold of me and said, "Hey, you want to review one of these?" I was like, "Well, yeah." So <laughs> that's what we're doing here today. So make sure you check out foreignmre.com. A lot of cool uh, rations over there. It really is becoming a great place to get international rations because I mean, let's face it, sometimes getting these international rations can be a bit tough. Uh, but they offer free shipping within the United States. Um, they'll work with you if you're out of the States. And uh, like I said, they just have a great variety. So check them out. And make sure you're checking out the links in the descriptions there. I do have a couple helpful Amazon links uh, as well as mreinfo.com. Great website for, uh, for the ration community. Uh, there's also you know my Patreon link if you want to support the channel. Go on over to Patreon. I've got a couple videos up there now. Uh, you know, that are just uh, thanks for the uh, support. Uh, also have my P.O. Box down there if you'd like to send anything to see reviewed on the channel. Uh, that is down there in the description. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and take a look here. Now, I did get my old uh, Google Translate here primed up for... Uh, let's see. So we have a sorted fried rice and a soy sauce fried rice instant drink not a bunch of info here that particular one there and the third one down doesn't seem to want to translate but we'll kinda of get to it as it goes noodles for backbone you know with with or sauce who knows man it might have with or without sauce <laughs> I don't know I kinda of find some of that sorta of silly so anyway uh, let's see we do have a date code here. We've got so March 17th of 2000. Oops, March <laughs> get it in frame there. March 17th of 2018. So this is a super fresh ration here, guys. This might honestly be one of the freshest ones I've had. These do have a uh, tear notch that you could go lengthwise with, I guess. Um, I don't really save these packages so we're just gonna do that and uh, check it out all right what do we got so let's see here we've got our beverage powder whatever that might I don't know if it necessarily is gonna say just says instant drink zinc flavor Zinc yeast flavor, malt extract, sugar, lemon, vitamin complex. So it might be lemony with malt extract. That's that's interesting. Okay. Uh, this is actually kind of neat here. So this you can use to measure out your water as opposed to using a fill line on a bag. So I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, here we go. We have a, an accessory pack here with a spoon and a napkin. Uh, let's see. Kind of a tough little plastic there. I think if I remember correctly, these should have like a little... Ah, yeah, there we go. They have like a little sealy thing there. And, uh, you know, just a standard napkin, nothing nothing super interesting there the spoon kinda looks like a little shovel a little flat nose shovel reasonably sturdy not too bad I think these have changed I've seen some videos where they've been a little bit different looking uh, let's see what do we have here we got 20 grams of something let's see if we can radish so it looks like uh, like a pickled pickled radish, maybe. Yeah, there we go. I captured it for a second. Anyway, so uh, like a pickled radish. 
So, cool. And here we have our entrees. Now these, they, they have this sleeve here. I'm just gonna take this one off real quick here. So, uh, kinda cool, wow, ooh, that's a solid package. These are not really see-through here, so I guess we'll see which one is the assorted and which one is the rice, the um, soy sauce fried rice, but if I remember correctly, I believe these do have two heating elements, one on either side. I can definitely see that one there. And yeah, so there's two heating elements, one on either side. The rice definitely feels hard. <laughs> so anyway, you see a little graphic there, add your water to your little pouch, add that in, and then we'll keep these in these little uh, foam-ish pouch thingies. Seem to be in pretty good uh, condition overall. And again, nothing really different here. So, let's go ahead and do a little prep here. We'll tear off the tops of these first. And we'll get our little bag here. I'm, I'm going to try and do this, I suppose. Uh, this is not necessarily the greatest thing oh god okay well we we kinda kinda did it yay got a little bit on the floor <laughs> need a little bit more water maybe yeah it's just this this is not the most precise operation here okay anyway let's go ahead and Pour this in to our first one. Go ahead and tuck it in real quick. Just gonna try and send that water in both elements as best as I can. You can already hear it starting. Ooh, yeah. That's getting hot. Okay. Whew. Smells horrible. Yeah, I mean, we, we complain a bit about the smell of uh, FRHs. Whew. Yeah, it's going. Oh, geez, and now I'm knocking stuff down. Real professional outfit here, right? I'm going to go ahead and fill this up for a second time for our second entree. Yeah, those stink. Definitely a very kind of almost sulfury. Oh my goodness, this is. This bag is so dumb. Ugh. Yeah, this bag is not fun. I'm just getting water all over the place. But anyway, yeah, the, these heaters smell horrible. Again, you'll have that. That's the, I guess, the price for a hot meal. Get that tucked in. Try and maneuver that water around as best as I can, I guess. That one's starting up real quick, too. These are, these are nice heaters. They seem to be easy to start and uh, very energetic. First one seems a little bit more energetic than this one, but these will both get nice and hot, and, and then we'll eat. And there's, there's really not a whole lot here. I'm gonna use this napkin real quick to clear up my mess. So you can see it pretty much <laughs> fails pretty quick. It's not a spectacular napkin. But anyway, we have the two rice entrees a little of the pickled radish and a drink and a spoon. So, a lot of rice, which is kind of what you'd expect, I guess. But uh, anyway, we'll let those heat up and then I will be right back. All right, guys, and we're back here. Um, our entrees still have a lot of good heat coming off them, but the reaction seems to have tapered down. So, let's go ahead and uh, start going through stuff. Let's take a look at our, our little uh, drink mix here real quick. A molten, molten lemon drink mix, I guess is what we'll call it. 
It's just a very fine powder. Hmm. Kind of smells like a sweet potato. Yeah. Maybe. Sweet potato. I'm going to go with sweet potato, Jim, for 50000 I don't know. It smells okay. Different. Different than what we would typically see in a lot of drink mixes. And didn't really have anything on how much water, so I didn't do my full complement that I normally do. This is probably about 8 ounces of water, I would say. Roughly. I'm using the old the old grandma method of measuring, you know, pinches and scotches and whatever the heck I feel like. There we go. So it's kind of a I don't know. It puts a little bit of color in it, not much. And we get our pickled radish, which judging by the size, I would say is a little bit like an, an accompaniment. You kind of like uh, you know like the ginger sometimes you would get. All right. Woo -hoo -hoo. Man, oh man, does that have a smell to it, buddy? Pretty pungent, sort of like uh, sort of like sauerkraut. So actually, a uh, you know decent little little portion, I I would say. And. Uh, Lonely looking tray, so let's go ahead and uh, get our entrees out of the, the bags. Uh, I don't know best way, we'll just... And again, I'm not sure which one of these is which. Uh, okay. What the hell? <laughs> okay, uh, so the top seems to have just... Fuse shut. That's weird. That knife needs sharpening. That was strange. That top just seemed to have looked like it fused shut on me. Come on. Very strange. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, there's the heating pad. I don't want you. Interesting. <laughs> Have a kind of a coating on here. It's hot. Very hot, but a uh, coating on the package. So don't want to get that involved in our food. This is probably our assorted rice. Mm, smells decent. Kind of has a uh, sort of a chicken smell to it. And that all comes out in one block. There. Alright. And let's look at our second pouch. I'll just take it out of there. All right, and so this would be our soy sauce. Ouch! It's hot. Whoo! Ah, oh, those heaters are still warm. And again, kind of a residue, hotter than crap. Wow! Wow! Those are probably the nicest heaters I've had, albeit. Very stinky. Has a little bit of a soy sauce drink. There we go. Okay. So here we are, folks. We have our two rices, our pickled radish, and a drink. A lot of rice, a lot of carbs. Let's go ahead and start trying some of this rice. And it's basically all just mush together at this point. Okay, let's get in here. Nice, big old, healthy bite. Hmm, not bad. 
not a ton of flavor. Um, a little salty. There's no real, you know, distinguishing flavor here. I mean, I see some peas, I see some, looks like carrots. Uh, you know, but nothing, nothing overtly distinguishing about the flavor. It is nice and hot, though, which is awesome. Slightly oily. The rice itself isn't super mushy, but obviously well cooked. It does kind of have a weird aftertaste. I guess maybe of package, but uh, you know, not bad. Definitely not bad. Pretty much right on par with what I would expect out of a ration portion of rice. Let's get a little bit of the soy sauce rice. This also seems to have some little maybe pork, I would assume. Little some carrots in there too. So let's try this one. Mmm. I like that one better. Yeah. Um not a ton of soy sauce taste, but just enough. It actually doesn't have the same aftertaste as this one does over here. Still a bit oily. I would assume maybe sesame seed. I don't know. I mean, that's... When I fry my rice at home, that's what I use is a little sesame seed oil. But... Good. Very good. Yeah. That one's my favorite. Let's try a little bit of this uh, pickled radish. I'm just going to try a little section of it first, and maybe we'll add it in with some of our rice. Very chewy. Gives you a little bit of that sour taste. A little bit of spice on it as well. Not bad. Try and get trying to get a little rice and radish. Yeah, that's good. That's actually very good together. Just adds kind of another sort of dimension we'll get a larger piece here with this just adds another little dimension to the rice a little bit more tartness a little little different flavor let's try it with the soy sauce rice mm-hmm yeah I like that I don't know if I would sit there and eat that alone but I would add it to either of those rices and it's very nice. So, both rice is pretty good. Definitely like the soy sauce one better. This one has a sort of a weird, kind of an aftertaste. Let me try it again. Let me see if I can describe it a little bit better. Because I hate just saying aftertaste. Mm. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a mild aftertaste. It's not bad, but again, I just I prefer that rice a little bit over the uh, the uh, assorted. Okay, let's try our drink real quick here to end it off. Wow. Okay. That might be one of the most interesting drinks I've had. I'm gonna try it again. I really want to get this down. Because what it kind of, like, the first thought my taste receptors told me was, Hey Dave, this kind of tastes like you're licking one of those root beer lollipops that you used to get at the bank as a kid when your mom would deposit money. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of, like, a super watered-down root beer. With, like, a little hint of lemon. It's not bad, but it... It's a little weird. <laughs> it's a little little different taste, but not bad. I'm sure there's, hopefully there's vitamins in there to keep me nice and strong, you know? Trooping. So anyway, folks, I'll, uh, I'll cut my yak in here. So we got the, uh, the Type 13 Chinese ration menu number one. A couple different fried rices, radishes. Pretty good overall. 
Again, another big thank you to PornMRE.com. You guys are great. Art and Nina are some of the some of the nicest people out there. Make sure you check out their YouTube page, and make sure that you uh, you check out their site. They have a lot of cool stuff over there. A lot of international rations that you're not you're just not typically going to see every single day um, for reasonable prices. So thank you guys for. Uh, for supporting the uh, the channel there and thank you for sending in this ration now to all you subscribers you guys are awesome as well thank you very much for the subscriptions I appreciate all of your likes and, and your constructive comments uh, I've had a lot of great people you know uh, reaching out and talking about rations in the channel and everything so thank you guys very much you guys have been so good so great uh, anyone might be new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, you know, I generally put out at least a video a week, so make sure you check uh, check out what we got posted. I think I'm over 150 videos at this point, so uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun videos out there. Um, and again, make sure you're checking out the description. Um, if you guys are interested in uh, supporting the channel, make sure you hit up Patreon. Uh, like I said before, I do have a couple of uh, Patreon exclusive videos on there for you to say thank you for supporting. Every dollar counts, and it all goes back into the channel. Uh, as well as, again, if you would like to send anything in to see reviewed camping gear, uh, rations, whatever, um, hit up the P.O. box. It's down in the description. Uh, but anyway, guys, I just appreciate you guys watching, and thank you very much for stopping by. See you all later.